Now in question number 44, <coughs> we are given integral. Initially, we have summation k varying from 1 to 98 and we have integration over interval k to k plus 1 and the function which we have to integrate is k plus 1 divided by x multiplied by x plus 1 with respect to x. Now, as we are integrating with respect to x and this is constant, so first we integrate this integral and we find the value of this integral as function of k because it is a definite integral and the limits are function of k. So, finally on solving this definite integral, we will get value of this integral as function of k. So, simple we write this as 1 upon x minus 1 upon x plus 1, difference of these two terms. It will give same 1 upon x multiplied by x plus 1. Now, we know very well on integrating this term, we get ln x minus ln of x plus 1 and putting upper limit minus lower limit and multiplying the value of definite integral by outside factor k plus 1, which we have written here. Again, we have summation k from 1 to 98 multiplied by this factor and on integrating this and putting upper limit minus lower limit, we get ln of k plus 1 minus ln of k plus 2 minus ln k plus ln of k plus 1. Now, after this, we will make this entire result as difference of two term, so that we can find some of the given series. For that, what we have done? See, we have multiplied k plus 1 with ln of k plus 1, the term we have written over here and then we have multiplied this k with this ln k. So, it will give k times ln k. Now, these are two consecutive terms and we have put summation k varying from 1 to 98. Now, continuing in the same manner, then we have multiplied this k plus 1 factor with this ln of k plus 2 and we have minus sign. So, we have put minus over here. So, we get another summation k varying from 1 to 98, this k plus 1 multiplied by this ln of k plus 2 and because of this minus sign, we have taken here minus sign and again in the same way, we have multiplied this k with this ln of k plus 1 this time. So, we get again a new difference series and finally, what we left, now we finally write summation k from 1 to 98 ln of k plus 1. This is the term when we multiply this 1 with this ln of k plus 1, then we will get this term minus this ln k when we multiply this 1 with this factor ln k. So, we have written the entire result as different series in the following way. Now, when we sum this different series, we get finally 99 times ln of 99 and from this different series, we get result minus 99 times ln of 100 plus ln 2 and from the last different series, we get the sum ln of 99. Now, finally, this ln 99 and this is 99 times ln 99. So, on adding these two terms, it become 100 times ln of 99 and the entire result using properties of logarithm, we have found ln of 2 multiplied by 99 to the power 100 divided by 100 to the power 99. This is the value of our integral. Now, it is a multiple correct question and in different option, we have to compare the value of this integral with the options given in the question. So, for option B, we have considered 100 to the power 99 and we have written this 100 as 1 plus 99 with the exponent 99. We have expanded binomially, we can see that first term will be 99 C 0 followed by 99 C 1, 99 to the power 1 continuing in the same manner, we have written last two term they will be 99 c 98 multiplied by 99 to the power 98 plus 99 c 99 multiplied by 99 to the power 99. Now, the interesting fact is that this second last term has value 99 to the power 99 because this 99 c 99, 98 has value 99 and it is multiplied by 99 to the power 98. So, this second last term has value 99 to the power 99 and the same value we have found in the last term also because this is 1. 99 c 99 is 1, but when it multiplied by this, so the last two term has same value 99 to the power 99. So, from this, this is the value of 100 to the power 99 and from this binomial expansion, we can say that this 100 to the power 99 is greater than 2 times 99 to the power 99 because the last two term 
has some 2 times 90 and 2 to the power 99 and we have many more terms which all are positive integer. So, from this we can see that this 100 to the power 99 is clearly greater than 2 times 99 to the power 99. Now, on dividing we can see that 2 times of 99 to the power 99 divided by 100 to the power 99 less than 1 and we have multiplied by 99 on both the side. So, we conclude that 2 multiplied by 99 to the power 100 upon 100 to the power 99 is less than 99. Now, come to our integral. In the integral we have found that the value of our integral is ln of this and now we have proved that this quantity is less than 99. So, we can say that clearly our integral is less than ln of 99 and this is our option B. So, from here we can say that option B is correct. Now, for more option continuing again we try for option C. Now, in option C what we have done as in the given integral we are given summation k from 1 to 98 integral k to k plus 1 k plus 1 upon x multiplied by x plus 1 as summation is varying from k equal 1 to 98 and this function is a decreasing function because as we move ahead this value will increase and value of function will decrease. So, this is a decreasing function. So, now what we have done as we know very well we have written this integral which is our integral i. So, value of this integral will be less will be greater than k plus 1 upon x plus 1 ka whole square. See here we have written this x plus 1 again x plus 1 and in place of x we have we are taken again x plus 1 because denominator is larger value will be smaller. So, from here we can say that our given integral i this is our given integral i. So, from here we can say that given integral i will be greater than this value. Now, we integrate this function. This function is integrable. We can integrate it very well. So, when we integrate and put the limit we get the value of integral 1 by k plus 2. Now, we have summation k varying from 1 to 98. When we find the sum you can see the first term will be 1 by 3 then we have 1 by 4 and continuing in the same manner the last term will be 1 by 100. So, this sum will be less than our integral. Now, the smallest term is here 1 by 100 and there are 98 terms because we have started from 3 then 4 then 5 and last we have 100 or in other way we can see that summation is varying from k equal 1 to 98. So, we have 98 terms. Now, this is the smallest term. So, if this is the smallest term then this sum will be greater than what 1 by 100 added for 98 m. We are comparing each term with 1 by 100 and this is the smallest term. So, we can say that this sum will be greater than 98 by 100. So, 98 by 100 will be less than this sum and our integral is greater than this sum. So, we can say that our integral is greater than 98 by 100 which is of course, 49 by 50 and this helped me in proving that our C option is also correct. So, right answer for this question are option B and C.